Hello Booktube and welcome to my bookshelves. So today I am going to do my March TBR and in March there is a, a month-long readathon going on called March Mystery Madness and there are six prompts for this. You don't have to read six books, you can interpret the prompts any way you like and one book can count as two or three of the prompts. Now the first prompt on March Mystery Madness is Shelf and that means a book that you already have on your shelf. So the book I have chosen for that prompt is one of the British Library crime classics and this is Antidote to Venom by Freeman Wills Crofts. This one is set in a zoo, in Birmingham Zoo. Now I don't really know much about this book but looking at the blurb and it says it has an unusual inverted structure in which I'm guessing that we know who the murderer is at the start and then we work out how he did it or what he did. But yeah, I'm intrigued to, I'm intrigued to start this one. The second prompt is borrowed. So I'm going to go to the library today and see what I can find. See what I can borrow from the library. The third prompt is new. Now, the books I'm about to show you aren't new, but they are a new author to me. I only recently discovered this author and absolutely loved the first book in this series. And this is Ashley Weaver and her... Amory, Amory Ames series. Now the first book is Murder at the Brightwell. This is the second one which I'm going to read, a most novel revenge. I also have, oh no that's the, that's the third book. The second book is Death Wears a Mask. So this is book two and a most novel revenge is book three. But I also very kindly have been sent the fourth book, The Essence of Malice, from the publishers. This is the hardback, and it's published by Allison and Allison and Busby. And the paperback of this is coming out later this year. I think it's June, or in the summer of this year. So this is the fourth book in the series, The Essence of Malice. So thank you very much for Alison and Busby for sending me this copy. Prompt four is historical and I am going to read for this Fever of the Blood by Oscar de Muriel. Now again this is the second in a series. The first one was called Strings of a Murder. What do you think about that? And this is set in Edinburgh in 18... 89 in a in Edinburgh's lunatic asylum. The first one is quite gothic and atmospheric so I'm hoping for more of the same from this one. Fever of the Blood by Oscar de Muriel. The fifth book on the prompt for March Mystery Madness is Foreign. So this could be a book set in a foreign country or by a foreign writer or in a foreign language. The book I have chosen, and, I, and I've had on my shelf for a while, but I've never got round to it, and this is Maygray, Maygray's First Case by Simenon. Again, I've not read any Maygray. The only really small books, it's only 100 and, 160 pages, and it's been on my shelf, and I've never got round to it, so I'm, I'm going to use March Mystery Madness as an excuse to finally read some Maygray. And the sixth prompt for March Mystery Madness is opposite. Again, you can interpret that in whatever way you want to. I've interpreted it as Australia, because that is opposite to where I live. And I'm going to read The Dry by Jane Harper. This won the CWA Gold Dagger last year and got... Massive reviews for it, and yeah, looking forward to the dry set in Australia. So that is my March TBR. I will add a little caveat to the end of this. And this week I am going to 
Mr. B's book emporium in Bath and I'm having a book spa, which means I will sit in Mr. B's book emporium and have lots of cups of tea and be given lots of books to read. So I have every intention of reading the books I've just shown you, but I will have a lot of new books at the end of this week. But I will do a special wrap up of Mr. B's Book Emporium at the end of the month. So I will see you all again in my next video. Thank you for watching.